everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you get the error message your organization manages updates on this PC. The first solution that you should take in consideration is to make sure you use an administrator account. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to select account and then on the right pane click on your info section. In here, as you can see, I am the administrator, but make sure that you use an administrator account. If not, you will have problems with getting this message. In the same account section, you can also disconnect the work or school account. To do this, go back to accounts on the left pane and then scroll down until you find the access work or school section and just click it. In here, as you can see, I don't have a work or school account, but in case you already have one and you're signed in, just click on the disconnect button. And once you disconnected from the school or work account, you can just restart your PC as usual. Another useful solution is to edit the Windows registry. To do this, just press the Windows button, then type in Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search results. In here, you have to navigate to the following location. H key current user, and then you have to go to software, and then you have to scroll down until you find policies, Afterwards, you have to click on Microsoft, then you have to select Windows, and afterwards, current version, and lastly, click on the push notification key. In here, you have a D word called No Toast Application Notification. So just double click it and make sure the value data is set to zero in here. Afterwards, just press on OK and then restart your PC as usual. You can also change the group policy editor settings. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in gpedit.msc and then select it from the search results. In the Group Policy Editor, you have to navigate to the following path. Computer Configuration, and then Administrative Templates, then you have to select Windows Components, and then scroll down until you find the Windows Update folder. On the right side, click on Manage End User Experience, and then double-click Configure Automatic Update. In here, you have to make sure that the option is selected to not configured. Lastly, just click on apply and then OK to save the changes. Another great solution is to change the diagnostic data settings. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. And then in here, scroll down on the left pane until you find privacy and security. And then on the right side, you have to go down until you find diagnostics and feedback. In here you will see the option called Send Optional Diagnostic Data and in here you have to make sure that it's toggled to on. If it's not, like for example now, you can just toggle it to on. Lastly, just restart your PC and see if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to enable telemetry. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in services.msc and select the Services app from the search results. In here you have to scroll down until you find the connected user experience and telemetry and then double click it. Now on the startup type, make sure to click the drop down menu and select automatic from this list. Lastly, just click on apply and OK to save the changes. And that was it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.